The disease COVID-19 caused by the infection of a novel coronavirus is a new illness that can affect your lungs. Its typical symptoms include fever, a dry cough, and shortness of breath. Public health experts across the globe have suggested several methods to slow down the spread of the illness. In this short video, we will explain one effective containment strategy called limited contact or social distancing. Infections like the coronavirus are passed on from person to person when they come in contact with each other. To visualize the spread of an illness in a population, let us use computer simulation of a mathematical model. This is not an exact model for coronavirus, but it's very similar to it. This simulation was originally published for Washington Post by Harry Stevens. In the simulation, we will represent people living in an area by dots. The light blue dots represent healthy people, the brown dots represent infected people, and the purple dots represent people who have recovered from the illness. This is of course a simplified model and only meant to show the effect of limited contact or social distancing. Let's see the rules of this simulation. When an infected person comes into contact with a healthy person, the healthy person falls sick. The dots on the screen can mimic this behavior if we supply an additional rule. When a brown dot touches a light blue dot, the blue dot also becomes brown to indicate that the illness has been transmitted. In the same way, after some time, the brown dots turn purple to indicate a person's recovery from the illness. For simplicity, we assume that recovered patients do not get infected again. That is, purple dots do not change color. We also assume no one dies in the process. Now, with these rules, we are ready to see how an infection spreads in a population starting from a single infected person. Let us imagine a city with 200 people each represented by a dot. The dots are moving just as we usually move about in our daily lives. Observe how quickly all the light blue dots turn brown. This is a problem. We want to make sure that the disease spreads as slowly as possible across the population. This is to make sure hospitals have enough facilities and manpower to treat people with the illness. Another reason why we would like to slow down the spread of the infection is so that scientists have enough time to find a cure for the illness. One way to make sure the illness spreads slowly is to adopt a strategy called limited contact or social distancing. In this strategy, your key goal is to limit the number of people you interact with in person. For example, avoid crowded public spaces. Do not go out of your house unless it is absolutely necessary. And do not invite a lot of people to your house. We can simulate the effect of limited contact by forcing some of the dots to remain stationary. In this second simulation, Three out of every four dots are stationary. That is, 150 people are maintaining limited contact or social distancing. The remaining 50 dots are moving as before. Observe that with limited contact implemented, the infection spreads much slower. In fact, you may have guessed that if more dots remain stationary, the illness will spread even slower. This is correct. In this third simulation, 
we reduce the number of moving dots by half. That is, 175 people are maintaining limited contact. The 25 moving dots may represent the people involved in really essential services. As we see, more limited contact or more social distancing is better. Of course, real life is much more complicated than a computer simulation. For example, many people are working in essential services where they cannot limit their contact with other people. In this case, please remember to wash your hands with soap regularly and avoid touching your face, especially your eyes, nose and mouth. Please remember that as more and more people practice limited contact or social distancing, that is, limiting the number of people they meet and interact with every day, avoiding unnecessary travel, and avoiding large gatherings of people, the slower the coronavirus infection will spread. This will help our doctors to control the disease with the resources available to them. The cooperation of the general public is essential for this. Maintain limited contact or social distancing. Stop the spread of coronavirus.